Many people throughout the world consider this professor from England to be one of the most brilliant minds in the world. No, I haven't done that. That's that, 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 quite, quite true. There's been lists of the top 25 living geniuses, and he's on the list. He's published numerous books, uh, incredible bestsellers to explain science uh, to the public. No, I haven't done that. that, that that's quite, quite true. Well, he was invited to speak at a local country club, and then a controversial interview on Fox News changed everything. I went through that book, and you basically are saying that everything can be explained by science, correct? Uh, well, everything about the natural world can yes. be explained by science. But where does it mock God? You know what you're doing. You're trying to get to the kids and say, hey, you're an idiot if you believe in God. And it's nothing to do with God. I'm talking about myths from all over the world. The Judeo-Christian myth is thrown in occasionally as one of many myths. And the book he just released is designed to teach kids about science and myths, not to discuss God and religion. World-renowned scientist Richard Dawkins scheduled to speak and sign his new children's book at this club in Rochester Hills. Till they backed out, that is. Are you atheist? Of course I am, aren't okay. you? It's obviously an outrage uh, that at the last minute when a contract has been signed that the owner of a country club should cancel it on the basis of the philosophical views of a speaker. really violates the basic principles of America, the principles of Jefferson and Madison. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 is probably the most revered piece of legislation in the 20th century, and it prohibits discrimination based on race or religious <coughs> viewpoint. And the proprietors of the Wingate made clear their specific intent to discriminate based on religious viewpoint. So it's rather an affront to reason in general to shun him as they did.
Dawkins' colleague at the foundation says the rejection of the professor for his differing views is wrong on many, many levels. The philosophical views of a speaker. No, I haven't, I haven't done that. That's that, quite, quite true. To discriminate based on religious viewpoint. No, I haven't, I haven't done that. That's that, that, quite, quite true. That they plan to pursue legal action against the country club since a contract, according to them, was broken. No, I haven't, I haven't done that. that that's quite, quite true. Ron Jeff, would you take the question about um, the uh, secularism being its own religion and these being its high priests? Well, this is um, a slightly cheeky suggestion. If um, what uh, Dr. Spivey says is right, and I'm inclined to agree with him, then of course there is a religious need in all of us, and um, if the religious belief systems that we've inherited are um, suddenly for whatever reason unpersuasive, it is obviously true, that if, that, if what he says is true, people will look for other ways of satisfying the religious urge. They will write passionate books condemning the old religious belief, perhaps called the God delusion or something like that, <laughs> uh, and um, accuse the advocates of, uh, of the false sciences uh, of heresy and maybe uh, indeed wish to uh, represent themselves as the saviors of mankind and uh, to that extent it is obviously true that we do have um, a kind of religious urge a much more vehement religious urge on the other side of this debate than on this one many people throughout the world consider this professor from England to be one of the most brilliant minds in the world there's been a list of the top 25 living geniuses and he's on the list it's a condition of mental divergence and, and a famous human being, a successful one, one who earns more than I do. And, and me, what am I? He's a, he's a great man. He's, he thinks like the Superman. And, and I'm just a, a worm, an insect, some kind, of, some kind of crawling, disgusting, creeping little vermin. You know, you can stop me. I will when I disagree. Part of an intellectual elite. Um, I believe that it is a liberating thing to free yourself from primitive superstition. So religion is a primitive superstition? Oh, I, I think it is, yes. So uh, you believe it's liberating to uh, tell people that there is no God? I think a lot of people, when they give up God, feel a great sense of release uh, and freedom. Why do you think that? I mean, what's your well, dad, what's your scientist, what's your dad? I think, well, I've had a lot of, of letters saying that. And I've, there are 8 billion people in the world, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dawkins. Know, know, How yeah, many letters yeah, do you have? No, I haven't done that. that that's quite, quite true. Are you also divergent, friend?